Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Bible dictionary under the word devil. The English word devil in the KGV is used to represent several different words in Greek, slander, demon, and adversary. And in Hebrew, spoiler. The devil is the enemy of righteousness and those and of those who seek to do the will of God. You know, sometimes the devil is so subtle that we may not see him until after we have made a choice. He tries to make bad things look good and good things look bad. He slanders God through various things. He slanders the gospel through influencing the people of the world. He tries to spoil our connection to God by offering us enticing choices and giving us reasons why it's okay to partake of those choices despite us knowing the difference between right and wrong, good and evil, and the fact that he knows that makes him angry because he gave up the right to be righteous. He gave up the ability to be righteous. Because he was once one of us. He was once with us in pre-mortality. And he rebelled and then got dismissed with a third group of the spirit children. So they are known as the sons of perdition and Lucifer is now Satan and... They try to demonize our lives by influencing others to help us choose the wrong. They also are adversaries in that they oppose every good choice we make. They try to guide us in the wrong direction by sending us false revelation and telling us that life is too short not to live it up and you can always repent of death, but that's not how it works. They try to spoil our connection to the Spirit simply by inviting us to partake a little and then going back to what we were doing. But here's the thing, when you partake of sin a little bit, it becomes easier and easier to partake of sin a lot. And if we don't see that, if we're blind to the fact that a little sin may very quickly lead to a lot of sin, we cannot often pull ourselves out and hence the need for the atonement. But Satan is so subtle that we may not realize we're doing anything wrong or anything bad until it's too late to do anything about it right away. Honestly, he is the enemy of righteousness because he views righteousness as something that keeps people from having real fun. And he views God as an enemy. And he'll try his best to slander God. He convinces the world that they don't need God and so they unwittingly, un unknowingly do his work by saying that the world does not need God and they try to erase God from everything and he tries to demonize everything sacred by turning those who once loved God against God and prompting them to reveal sacred things. And he is so adverse to people actually doing good and living well that he will try and turn people against them simply for being who they are. He will try and spoil our joy by making us look bad simply because we wish to do good. It's important that we see Satan for who he really is so we do not become trapped by him, his influence. But sometimes we do, and it is also important that we see the atonement that we might be able to come out of it, come out of that bad place if we choose. But what we see is our choice. 
but it's what we choose to see that will determine how our life goes in this life and in the next because what we see is what we'll do and what we do determines how we will spend our eternity and with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.